I don't know what to say. Mm. But that looks amazing. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Old Busted Hotness. Today's episode, we are going to make our cool air intake. First off, I take the old part that I have from the SU carburetors, reverse engineered into SolidWorks so that I can design and build the cover since I've never had the old cover and it would have too small a neck on it anyway cause too much restriction of airflow i'm gonna build a deeper one a bigger one and dare i say a better one while i have your attention i remembered that a while back my kid when we were rebuilding this car the first time back in high school he has a blog spot that he built and if you would like to see and read about the first time we went through this car how he purchased it all that good old story i will put a link down below in the description and you can go check that out Meanwhile, I'm trying to put in the oil vacuum hose or the oil breather tube. Here's the completed product. The blue part is what I have. The red part is what I'm going to build. You can see it just comes off like the stock one. It just won't have an air filter in there anymore, even though it is bigger. Here I am starting the fabrication. This is just 18 gauge cold rolled steel makes it nice and simple to weld up no real difficult angles Just kind of free form it in start cutting it up did I mention that my son built a blog spot that details all the things that he had to go through to get this car done the first time also has some video of when we uh, rallied it and some first drives just lots of interesting information it was kind of fun for me to go through and read about it and look at all the pictures that he took the time and effort it took him just to create that so here's the two pieces the first two pieces there's the plate plus the piece that I will now form around it and weld to the plate to create the box. Cut it to the proper length so that I can tack weld it all together and make it pretty. Finishing up the tack welding and then I did a whole full bead weld all the way around so that there was no air leaks. Need to bring in all the air from the air filter. Here we are trying to decide where to put the actual tube for the air intake along the back on the bottom in the middle at an angle and when it came down to it we thought we'd make it as look like as much like a stock one as possible just a little bit bigger uh, the two and a half inch tube there is a little bit taller than the box so we squished it down and made it into a nice oval shape so that it can come out and end up as a round tube better facilitate the rest of the parts after welding it all up I had to take out all that burr and weld and stuff to make a nice flow through the system not that it really matters at this point if the air is turbulent or anything because there's no fuel or anything in it this is all pre carbureted airflow just be nice to have a nice smooth flow through the tube into the air box everything else should be nice and smooth didn't really want to have that big burr and this took quite a while
there you can see that the uh, fur is all gone. Now I'm giving it a prep, prep paint. And then a couple of coats of primer. And if you look in the background there, behind the gates, you'll see a car cover. That is not covering the Datsun. The camera is actually sitting on the Datsun right now, but that is my next project back there. So as, I, as soon as I finish up the Datsun, we'll get on that one. Here I am getting a little impatient with the final coat of blue, so I air dryered it. Here's the rest of the components I will need for that fresh air system. One pot air filter, a couple of elbows and some 45s, and another piece of steel two and a half inch pipe. Taking measurements, I figure I need to make couplings or couplers, I'm not sure what they're called at this point in time. And if the right tool doesn't work, get out the right tools. Even if the right tool is a Harbor Freight. Anyway, did I mention that my kid did a blog spot? It's got a lot of interesting videos and pictures, autocrossing, driving in the snow, up and down the driveways. <laughs> just would get so excited when we'd get to another point or another thing would get done. He'd want to make a video about it or take pictures of it. It's actually pretty cool. So here I'm making a coupling and just kind of filing it and making sure that it's nice and clean. Again, we don't want any burrs or anything in the airflow or any garbage. Make it nice and clean. Now, I'm using a steel pipe. It's actually steel exhaust pipe because the plan is here that you won't see any of it. Here I am trying to fit it in the front of the Datsun. And as you can see, it doesn't fit very well straight in. And I knew this because when I built the Gold Z, I put a pod up here and I knew that it would hit the torsion bars. So we have to turn it sideways, put a 90 on it, and then pop it into that hole right there, which is a manufactured hole. I did not put that hole in it. I don't know why that hole is there. Here's my second coupling or coupler. I'm not sure what it is. This is the one for the 90. Got some nice pipe clamps, hose clamps in this case. So I am building this thing so that you will not see any of the steel piping. And that is why I'm not using aluminum or polished aluminum or anything because I'm planning on you not seeing it at all. So here we are fitting it in. Perfection. Isn't that pretty? Now all I have to do is get it from that location down there to up to the new airbox, which is 245s. Ta-da! One more coupling to go, which I'm not going to make you watch me make. There she is. And then time for the final assembly. The blog spot that... JJ made for this car. Has all the dates and everything too, so it's kind of interesting to see how long it took him. The car shows he went to, he took it to, which because we were in northern Idaho, he pretty much won any import class or trophy that he got that he was in because nobody else has imports or Dodsons up there. And that's where we learned that 240Zs don't go in the snow, and that's why I built the orange Dodson. So let's do a little sound comparison. Not sure if you'll be able to hear this very well or not, but it does make a bigger difference inside the car, that's for sure, and I'll try and get that audio for you in the next video.
On my next video, I think I'm gonna introduce you to my next project. Don't worry. I don't know what to say, but that looks amazing. Woo! We'll get back to the Dotson. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.